Hey guys, welcome back to Basan Kitchen. Today we are doing a really cool recipe. We are making Mediterranean style salmon kebabs. It's a cool, simple recipe, but I'm gonna show you how to cut the vegetables and I'm gonna show you how to cut the fish and put it all together and I'm gonna plate it two ways, Basan style. So let's go over the ingredients really quick. We're gonna use fresh Roma tomatoes, fresh bell peppers, white onion, fresh garlic, chopped cilantro, dry parsley for decoration, and Cajun rub. Over here I have about two and a half pounds of full filet of salmon. I'm gonna use Atlantic salmon, but you can use fresh salmon as well. I personally prefer Atlantic salmon. We have seasoned salt, clarified butter, regular salt, extra virgin olive oil, and lemon juice. Guys, this is it. We have all the ingredients in. This is the coolest summer recipe. You guys are gonna love it. And the cool thing is, it is super simple to make and I'm gonna show you how to plate it two ways. So let's get started, because it is Basan style. The thing everybody's been asking me is the kind of knife I prefer. I, my favorite knife is an eight inch Vivo stainless steel, no handle knife. The reason I like it is because it's a heavy knife. I don't like light knives, I like it heavy, so my wrist can do the work. So this is it guys. This is my favorite knife. I do not leave without it. To make the Mediterranean kebab, you need to cut them in cubes. So what I do is, I go down, just take a knife and slide it right down the middle. See the skin? And about this thing. Now what you do is you take about half an inch. So you can't cut them too small. Make a bite size. About this thick. I transfer the cubes in a bowl. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of butter. So now, we're gonna add, I would say tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons, depending on how spicy you like it. The Cajun rub, a pinch of salt, and I love cilantro, so I am gonna add cilantro to it, but you can also add fresh chopped parsley too. And just In a baking sheet, I sprayed it with non-stick spray so the fish doesn't stick to the bottom. You just lay it down. In the oven, what I like to do is I put a little bit of seasoning from the sifter on it. So what it does is when it cooks, the seasoning gets encrusted, which is awesome because you get the little crisp on top and you get soft moist fish in the bottom it's a cool trick but it works every single time all right guys the salmon is ready i have the oven on at 425 we're gonna put it in for about 15 minutes if you guys like it well done you can put it for another five minutes totally up to you but after 15 minutes it's fair game so let's get it done basan style vegetables we're gonna cut now are we're gonna start off with peppers just cut them in cubes not too small and not too big. And you make sure you take all the sides off so it looks like a perfect view. Cut the onion in the middle. Take the middle part out because it's soft and squishy. Just keep the outside. Cut it in the middle again. And see, about this big. That's what you want. Tomatoes, we're gonna cut them in wedges the top and the bottom off on the tomato, cut it in half, and like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grill them on each side after we saute the vegetables, peppers and onions. So you don't wanna overcook them, you just wanna give a sear on each side. Not only does it taste amazing, grilled tomatoes, but it makes all the difference. 
This is it for the vegetables. We've done the prep. Peppers and onions are cubed perfectly. They're on one side and over here I have the tomatoes. I have cut them in wedges. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the pan like this, grill it for a few seconds, and then we're gonna grill it on this side. We're gonna lightly season it with the seasoned salt, and then we're gonna plate it on top of the salmon. It's very simple, but it's really awesome. Okay, I always tell you guys, make sure you heat your pan first before you put the oil in. So as soon as the oil hits the pan, it heats it right up. So we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. About two tablespoons and let it get really hot. You wanna hear that sizzle. So as soon as you put the vegetables in, it puts that nice crisp on them and you don't have to sit there and let them boil. So that's what you wanna hear. As soon as you put the vegetables down, you wanna hear that sizzle. That means the oil is ready to do its job. Now you don't have to overcook it. You just have to break them down a little bit. We're gonna add some seasoning and we're gonna take it off. A quick saute. High heat, you wanna hear that sizzle because that's the key. That tells you the pan, the oil, everything is ready to do their job. I see the vegetables are cooking really good. I'm gonna take about half tablespoons of fresh garlic and I'm gonna put it in. And with that, we're gonna add seasoned salt, which I'm gonna leave the recipe off in description. Very lightly, I season it, but. So you can see the vegetables are part cooked, and you see the spices are nicely stuck, and the garlic is cooked, so right before you take off, I like to add a little cilantro to it. Gives it a little fresh flavor. And you just toss it in. And you can see how nice it is already. And just take it off. In the same oil, just gonna put the potatoes. Tomatoes down, potatoes. Remember, it's just a light sear. You're gonna partially cook them and season them with a little bit of seasoned salt. Then toss them all in because they have to go side to side. After a few seconds, you change size. You see how they change color? That's exactly what you want, that light, Orange color shows that the tomato is breaking down and it's searing. See, this is exactly what we want right here. In the pan, because you don't want to overcook them. You can see the color of the tomatoes, how gorgeous it is. They're light orange, and the cilantro from the pan got stuck to them, so they make them look even more hotter. And definitely, but some stuff. Alright, guys, the salmon is ready and it looks gorgeous, and the color is amazing. The most perfect part about this is the blackened seasoning, how gorgeously it's encrusted on it. So you get a little crisp from the seasoning and the moist fish in the bottom. This is exactly what Basan style is because you need to eat that dry rub fish exactly like this. Now I want you to see the vegetables. They're nice and rested and they're seasoned beautifully and the tomatoes are perfect. I'm gonna show you guys how to plate because that's my favorite part. We're gonna plate it two ways, one over mashed potatoes, the other over rice. It is cool, it's simple, and it's definitely awesome. Hey guys, I showed you everything is ready. Now we're gonna move on to my favorite part, is plating. We're gonna plate it two ways. So over here, I've already prepared cilantro rice, which looks gorgeous and it smells amazing. Perfect to go with my fish. And I have garlic mashed. I made a little bit of olive oil, butter, Parmesan cheese, chopped cilantro, and garlic and lemon to put over the fish once we plate it. We have the sauteed vegetables. We have peppers and onions and tomatoes. So I'm gonna start with the rice first. I'm gonna plate it right in the middle. Well, right on one side. Put it down very liberally. Because the food has to taste hot. It has to taste amazing. But the presentation has to be like 
on point. It has to be where your guests come in and as soon as they walk in and they see the surf platter and they just stop and take pictures, that's when you know you did it right. And over here, I'm gonna lay down my mashed potatoes. Plate the fish right in the middle. You just drop, drop them at random, so let them fall wherever they fall. Give it that rustic look. So now we're gonna add the grilled tomatoes. We just strategically place them. We add the color and the life to your fish. That's exactly what they should bring it up to life. Wow. Let's strategically place them. They were sitting in their own juices. Make sure you don't hide the fish when you put it like that. I have to accent it. This salmon is the king of the show. Now I'm just gonna drizzle it with the butter I made, with olive oil. Hey guys, everything is ready. Salmon is plated with sauteed peppers and onions and grilled tomatoes. We plated it two ways. The first is done over garlic mash and second, we've done it over my all-time favorite rice pilaf with cilantro and peppers and onions and grilled tomatoes. This is as good as it gets. It is simple. It is awesome. It is everything that I love, love cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe because I had a great time making it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and we will get you guys next time, Basant style. Take it for a spin, or like a lot of lemon. Mm. Wow. Fresh. Vegetables are done amazing. Off the hook. Try them. Wow. I, I wish you guys could try it. It is so.
Tschüss, Plakat.